Hey guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. You know, here we paint from the heart and you just won't believe the rewards you get, the fun that we have doing this. I had a good friend from Oklahoma, Addison Larson. She sent me this picture from when we drew the rabbits last time. And she thought she could do that, six years old. Look at this little picture I've got. Kids, send those pictures. We're gonna show them so grandma and grandma and papa and everybody can see your pictures. I really enjoyed that. And that was from that little sketch we did on how to draw rabbits. And she did it. Addison's going to be an artist one day. I love it. I'll tell you what I'm doing right here. I've already put some paint on this canvas. I had a canvas that I had drawings on and already had a picture, some sketches drawn on that I didn't like. And sometimes that happens. What do we do with a pet canvas? Well, it was dark drawing, so I covered it all in dark. And now we're going to throw something lighter into it. And I had somebody say, well, Ralph, somebody's wife asked me, can you paint flowers? They like daisies. So i tell you what, for a dark background, light colored daisies would probably work pretty good in this picture. Uh, now being from the south, we've got to have a, a jar to hold them flowers in. And we're going to see if we'll do our jar first. And then we'll put a few stems coming out of it and lay some on the table like Mama's decorating this on the kitchen table. Let's see if we can make this work. Now to do my background, I just took ultramarine blue, and you always hear me talk about that because it's such a dark blue. My burnt umber, I put the blue on there, I mixed in some burnt umber, and the burnt sienna to give me a, a red color. Just kind of cover this so there's no black in this dark. I want colorful backgrounds. I want color in the canvas, color in the, what we're painting into. But now we've got to do some drawing. So instead of drawing with dark colors like we usually do, we have a dark background, we have to draw with light colors. So I'm just going to take some plain white here now and get on here and this paint's still a little bit wet and kind of paint into it. Let's see if we can make this work. So there you go, let's get my white out here and give me a little bit of water. I said the first thing we got to do is get our jar on here. We're going to have a jar. You know, get the lid of my jar where I want it. And, you know, we're used to these kind of jars down here where we come from. But down here the peanut butter comes in them and the, Mama cans with these old jars. So we're going to get us like a, a mason jar on here. All oh, mason jar, famous in the south. This is probably well, back before when people used to do a whole lot of canning, put up all their vegetables on the farm. This was just something that everybody had laying around the house. There ain't no telling what all you'd find in that old jar. So we're just going to try to make it look like a jar sitting here. We really hadn't even established where our lights are going to come from, anything like that yet. We're just trying to draw us a little jar on here. Get us a jar going. And down here where it's sitting on the ground, so we've got to cut that in down there. And that back edge going up over there. And we're just drawing with paint. That's all we're doing. We're just drawing this thing. Trying to get it on there. So let's catch a good little light on that jar. Come right here, right here, let's get that shape a little bit straighter. It's starting to look a little bit like a jar. What do you think back there, Michael? Can you see it coming? Yeah. Gonna highlight back here a little bit. So we're painting it with some very wet paint. Now I'm not really worried about all my colors and everything yet. We're gonna have, have the light coming from there. I'm just trying to draw with this. We'll do our painting later. We're trying to get the shapes we want to have on there. But by having that little color in the background, it kind of neutralizes all that white. And so that's going to give me the jar. Now the jar didn't have a lid on it. Kind of defeat the purpose. Probably, in fact, it's probably got a little bit of water in there. You know, once I got it filled about half full of water, let's establish a water level in here, kind of make what blend in that background a little bit, kind of make it look like water. We'll just Pull some light shine down into that water some places. There, that kind of gives us a little bit of a water line there. Mm -hmm. Let's get the water going the way to go. Let's get that established. And we're just trying to figure this thing out a little bit. There's a cornbread jar. And you now coming out of the jar, what are we going to have? We're going to have some stems laid out here. And right out of that jar, some different ways. And we just drew right through our jar, didn't we? We just pulled those stems, pulling up in here. 
Mama loves her. This is probably Mama's favorite time of the springtime when these flowers start blooming and she has them all laying all around the farm. Mama's got her little flower gardens. Mama loves her garden, loves working in her gardens. Her wild flower gardens are probably some of her most favorites. So we know we got that in there and there's the point of that jar coming down there. I'm just kind of just pulling that paint up. All I'm doing is drawing now. And we'll have the centers of those flowers. That one's kind of turned back a We're looking at the back of that one. So this flower petal's going to be kind of going away from us. Going the other way. We'll have this one right here. These petals are going to be coming right in here. It's going to be bigger than the one in the background because the one in the background is in the background. And we'll give this one a longer, some longer petals to make it look like it's closer up front. And we're not even worried about colors yet. We have, we're just trying to draw where are these flowers want to go to. You got one over here that's he's kind of tucked and heading off that other direction. And this petals, when we look at the back of it, it'll be cutting away from us. See, I want to make it look like he's kind of turned that other direction. See, have that kind of hook come out here. Let's see if we can make it become that when we get when we paint it. So we kind of establish them some little flowers where we won't have flowers in here. And there's probably a couple of them laying on this table. And we just want to cut some stems in here. Mama's got them laid out here, getting ready to put them in there. Let's get our centers where we want them to be. We have one right here. This one here. This one's the farthest one back. We'll cut him in first. So we're just cutting in petals, cutting in petals. I tell you what, that's the way we're just getting this thing drawn on here. That stem came to right there. This one's petals. I'm going to overlap that one, see. And by putting, starting at the back and putting the one in front on top of the one behind it. And that's the way we'll actually paint it too. We'll actually end up covering this and back up again. And it kind of gives us, is that kind of looking uh, like some flowers that mom might be cutting and have laying around to work on. Uh, and it might be laying here on a, you know, how can we get the edge of a table in here? How can we cut a table in here? Again, we're drawing with the light instead of the dark. So we got a little table going, going back here. It's actually going to cut right through there, see. So we'll have the, we'll make a table there. Where I cut through it, there's, get that back. Let that line go through my glass, see. There we go. So we just making, there's my water line. I tell you what, I think we can make this work. We got it drawn out a little bit. Y'all come back next time and we'll see what we can do with this. Y'all come.